Hey! You kids get out of my yard. Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to keep working on our base here. Uh, this is primarily going to be another building episode, just because we got to get it done. Uh, but I have done uh, some work off camera. Uh, so the wall is now uh, complete, at least the first iteration of it. It is too high, as you can see. And I started uh, going up uh, too high on the foundation, but I ran out of stone. I also planted my first little bit of uh, barley and flax uh, and made this, you know, turn this area over here into a garden area. So why don't we go ahead and pick this first and get it replanted so we can keep growing the, the crops here. And then uh, our first order of business today is to collapse that pillar there because we need stone. Uh, a lot more stone to do our build here. So that is the plan. All right, so let's start with the f uh, flax first. We might need to deal with these assholes. Um, right now I just have a, a wood gate on there, but I am planning on doing an iron gate. Um, but I wanna make sure we have all of our workstations and the upgrades for those workstations uh, done first before I use iron for the gate. So, okay, so let's go ahead and grab our cultivator and we'll switch to flax and I'm trying to get it to, to snap. I guess it's not going to snap, so we'll just maybe start it right about here. Then it'll snap, should snap to, yeah, there we go, to itself. And uh, we'll need, the hell was that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll need quite a bit of this, of course, to make the padded armor, among other things. Okay, so that takes care of the flax. Now let's switch to the barley. And of course we need this to make the bread and uh, some of the other food. Guess that's snapping there. It's, yeah, it's kind of doing a, a weird pattern thingy. Hmm. I don't know why it's doing that. I've never seen it do that before. All right, so that is it for the barley. Nice. Um, as you can see, I've, I've done quite a bit of work, you know, just on the outside here, too, uh, leveling things off. And uh, I am going to plant, you know, replant the, the prairie grass. But I think I'm going to wait to do that until, until we have more of the building itself done. Um, one mention, uh, or one comment that you guys mentioned, uh, I thought was a good idea... Uh, or an interesting idea at least was instead of making one big building make you know smaller buildings so one building dedicated to you know the blacksmithing one dedicated to cooking that sort of thing uh, I really considered doing that because I thought it was a great idea but the the main reason I wouldn't do that is because I mean it rains so much in this game and you know the weather just gets shitty and so you know having to move back and forth between buildings and bad weather uh, just I don't know it doesn't it doesn't sound real appealing to me <laughs> so I think we're gonna stick with you know having one main house um, but you know we're gonna build it so it's so it's really nice looking for this particular build that wasn't a bad idea that was actually a very good idea and I did give it co some consideration but I just uh you know with the weather being crappy like it is uh, I don't think we'll do that at least not for this build we'll see though I mean you know never say never right I do have some high spots here that I've got to toned down but I'll worry about that later because I, I really want to get this house going 
and get our stuff set up and I need stone before we can do that so let's head on out and we'll take this cart with us as well not in the right position there we go I mean the thing is is this pillar so close to the base we almost don't even really need a cart but we'll take one anyway come here Skeeter So let's leave that there. Okay, so I'm assuming this still works the way that it used to. Uh, we basically just cut out from underneath it and the whole thing collapses. Uh, oh, we're going to have to deal with this tar guy first. Is that it? There's one way over there, too. I'm sure he'll... Yeah, he's coming over. Even if he wasn't, as soon as we start pounding on this, that'll get his attention. Alright, so it looks like the tar blobs are, are clear. We could potentially get their attention, too. And if we do, we'll just kill them. And get more black metal. Let's just see what happens here. Okay. Oh, I wonder if. I wonder what would happen if we tried vein mine on this thing. Let's try it. Oh, <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> it's raining stone. <laughs> oh, vein mine. Oh man, that's just so cheaty, but. Look how much time that just saved us, though, too. All right, did we get anybody's attention? Oh, shit, that was funny. Okay, well, there you go. Let's start loading up this cart, and we'll take the whole thing back down with us. Fortunately, too, uh, we just have to go downhill. That makes it a little easier. Uh, all right, I think I think that's it. No, nope, there was one more little piece. Will be enough to to get it started though. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have to pull this thing uphill. <laughs> Let's close the gate. Put the cart right here, and uh, where's my stone cutter? Oh, it's over here. We'll grab that. So the first thing is to finish the foundation, uh, the outline of it, and then we're going to put a wood floor in. Uh, because I'm not going to have a stone floor, at least not. We may, we may have a stone floor in part of the building, ultimately. But, um, for now, I'm just going to, you know, out do an outline of the foundation. All right, so let's take, uh, can we grab, how many of these can we grab? Okay, that's good. Happy build. Okay, let's keep working on this.
All right, now, um, let's go over here first. And I want to do, I want to do, I think I decided I'm going to do two wings on this side. And then I, I think we're going to do like a rounded entryway on, in the front. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, so... Um, now it's just a matter of determining how far out we're going to go with these wings. And I may, I may end up pushing this... Uh, yeah, pushing this fence out to or wall rather. I think four outs probably good enough. Okay, so let's do four on this side as well. And we need to get the stone cutter a little closer. Okay, before we lay those, now I, I gotta figure out how wide I want this to be. So I'm thinking I want it to be Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. If we made it six wide, and then um, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make it let's make it five wide. Because I want the central area to have a little more space. We're gonna have to raise that ground up. Probably going to need to raise it up here, too, I'm guessing. Uh, all right, hold on. Let's flatten that down a, back down a little bit because I don't want the raised dirt to stick out. And yeah, un these birch trees are gonna have to go. We'll we'll replant them. And obviously, we're gonna make the floor of the wings stone because I just did that. <laughs> I hadn't really thought about that until now. We might be able to get away with leaving. I don't know. No, actually, we won't be able to get away with it because of what I have planned. Okay, let's flatten that back down a bit. Actually, you know what? Um, on second thought, I think um, I think I am going to make the floor, the central floor, wood. In the center part, this part will be stone. Uh, because we're going to put crafting stations out here, you know, stuff that needs to be outside. That's the plan anyway. Okay, so let's take you back down. As always, I'm making this shit up as I go, too. 
other than having a very general plan, I haven't sketched this out or anything. Out of stone already? For goodness sakes. Okay. Well, this tree definitely has to go down, so let's let's cut it down. Um, guess I want it to fall this way. I'm actually <laughs> right on top of my cart, doing some damage to my walls, but we can repair that. Uh, let's actually do that. Oh, that's not damaged at all. Those were. I guess it was damaged a little bit. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. We have a tar. Yeah, we got a tar guy. Is it? Damn it. Back in the yard. No stamina. Okay, so did his, um... Did that tar damage our wall? Yeah, it did. Oh my god. Okay, this guy's do some serious damage. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't have thought that they could have done that much damage, but apparently they can. These are in pretty good shape here, it looks like. We, I may end up having to cut a moat around this place. I don't know. Kind of want, didn't want to, but we might need to. Okay, well, I guess we need to go cut down another pillar. I'm trying to decide if I want to leave these three pieces here or not. I think I will because it, it'll kind of break things up in, in the interior and will look kind of cool, I'm thinking. All right, we'll put that out there. Starting to get dark, unfortunately. Am I the only one on the server? I am not. Okay, so I won't be able to sleep then. Put all that stuff in there. Okay, let's go grab that pillar over that direction. Oh, wow. That didn't take the whole thing down. Ouch. Oh, you know why? Because my pick broke. Oh, right. Okay. That makes sense. It does. Whenever you do that, it calculates the durability loss of the tool, you know? So that makes sense. Oh, we got his attention. All right, come here, big boy. Uh-huh. Here, let's pop, pop this just to be on the safe side. Two black metal. Three black metal. Even better. All right, um, I guess I'll leave my cart here, uh, but we need to go repair. I 
Hey. You kids get out of my yard. All right. Um, it is uh, obviously it's nighttime and I can't sleep because other people are on the server. So I don't really want to go out uh, out into the wild at night because you get lots of groups of fuelings that come. So let's uh, start working on putting the floor in place. And um, I'd like to do some work, uh, some building with the dark wood. But um, that doesn't look like uh, there's a flooring option. So we're going to have to just use normal wood for that. Um, all right. So, uh, all right. They're causing trouble. Where are you at? I think he's like under my ship, but I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Yeah, come over here, man. I don't want to get all wet. up all this wood here and uh, also grab that oh that's too much okay put that stuff in the chest for now okay so we're gonna lay wood here I am gonna put a support in the center though um, in fact, why don't we do that now? We'll go with a, a pole. So I want snapping top. Right? Yeah. Uh. Oh, it's snapped in the corner. Actually, that's actually probably not a bad thing. Now that I think about it. Yeah, let's do it this way. Yeah, okay. I don't like the the gaps though. Like these gaps right here. That that's not fun. Don't know what to do about that. Hmm. Is it possible to turn these a different direction? So they line up better. No, it looks like the gap's the same no matter which direction I I place it. Me no likey that. I mean, I know I could cover the stone up I think unless it unless it clips a lot but I kind of wanted to have part of the floor be stone you know just to make it look good hmm all right well I think it's gonna be one of those things where I can't do anything about it 
so we'll just live with it. Maybe, maybe it won't be too noticeable when it's all said and done. Let's go ahead and put this floor in too. While we wait for the fog to clear, then we'll go get more stone. Okay, let's bring that back down a bit. All right, so we'll put, uh, do the same thing here. We'll get uh, that piece in and then we'll put the poles in on each corner. Give it the support. I could just put uh, a couple of stone blocks down there too, I suppose, but I'll just do it this way. Yeah, I don't like that gap there, but again, I don't think there's anything we can do about it, so. All right, so this whole area here, we, we will fill in with stone as well. Um, and it'll be kind of like a little crafting porch. Hmm. It's not going to be very big, though. We could shorten these wings up to a four wide block. Well, let's just see what our space looks like before we make those decisions. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm going to keep putting uh, wood down here. Okay, out of wood. Looks like the fog is just starting to clear up. So let's go get our next load of stone. There we go. Rain of stone. Just trying to think if I want to hit another one of these. We've got that pillar there, but I was kind of thinking about maybe keeping it there. There's another one even further out that way. But the other thing, though, is I don't want to completely load this cart down either because it'll be hard to pull. So let's just go with this. What in the hell is going on? That was weird. <laughs> okay, let's get the rest of these foundations in. And then we'll start building out the middle here. Excellent. Okay. <clears throat> now, I guess the question is, do I... Am I going to have enough room for all of our crafting stuff here? Or not? That is the question. Um, I'd like to start putting some walls up, too. I think... I think what we'll do is, well, we can either do stone walls with wood trim or wood walls with stone trim. Uh, it'll probably, the, the stone pieces are just really thick as the thing. Um, all right, I need to go get some more wood um, and I'm going to go back to the forest uh, to do that because uh, it's just a lot easier to get normal wood there than it is here. I don't, and I don't want to cut down all the birch trees, you know, near the base because I like, I like them. Um, I think I'm going to cut down some of these oaks. Let's leave this one and this one, and we'll cut down these ones that are a little further out.
Okay, uh, we're back, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to build one side with stone walls and wood trim and one side with wood walls and stone trim and see which one I like better. And um, again, it looks like the tar wood is just roof pieces and trim pieces and not actual walls um okay so that means i need to hey we got a visitor All of my tar is back at uh, the other base. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I gotta go back and grab it. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, dark wood arch carved divider. I guess we're gonna have to just use normal wood walls. All right. So yeah, let's just uh, let's just use normal wood walls. And then we'll we'll see you know what our options are for trimming it out. That will be a window spot. That's a pretty decent sized wing, uh, meaning that if we had to pull it back, we could. <coughs> Of course, if we, uh, you know, if we start building with stone over here, the walls are a lot thicker. What I actually might do, if we go this route, is pull them in which will make the interior smaller, but the courtyard area wider. That might look a little odd though, now that I think about it. Because the floor will be all the way up against the wall on this side, but not on this side. Um, we could still maybe do that though. It's not necessarily a showstopper. Let's grab some more stone here. All right, and then we put a short piece in there for the window. This, yeah, this might get interesting. Um, here, let's go back to the... Hmm. If we want a window right in the center... Yeah, I don't... I don't think I can do this. We need to hold it all the way out, because otherwise it's just not going to be even. It's a nice idea, but... Okay, so now... Okay. Um, there is the snapping option that allows us to... Uh, snap it into... Clip it in, yeah, like that. Well, snapping bottom, auto snap. If I hold shift, yeah, there we go. So if I hold shift, I can clip it in like so. 
See, now it's just doing it automatically. There we go. And then we can do our window there. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, now, um, let's continue to build this out. It's a, it's kind of jagged looking, but I guess that's what happens when you have a, a stone house. Uh, no, nah, I don't like that. Well, let's keep those going the same direction. Oh, we're out of stone already. Damn it, Jim. Okay, well, let's go get some more stone. I'm actually going to go back and replenish my rested buff and uh, repair the durability, too. You know, the other thing that just occurred to me, too, is I could... If I do decide that I need to dig a moat, I'd get a bunch of stone. Whoops, where am I going? Uh, by doing that. You're going to be a lot safer to do that. It's just going to take a long time and it's going <clears> to <throat> kind of looks like shit when you do a moat. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to still give that some thought. Let's just hit another pillar to finish this, this one section out, though. If I did a moat. Um, <clears throat> I probably wouldn't dig along here only because, um, the bad bads aren't likely to come from this direction. I mean, it's certainly possible that they could, but it's not likely they would. So I'd probably start the moat like here ish. And then, you know, cut it across this way. And probably just keep it in a straight line all the way across just because I think I'm going to bring that wall out a bit. <clears throat> On the other hand, though, it would make sense for the moat to follow the contour of the wall, though. Yeah, I think that would that would make more sense. And then of course we'd have to cut it through here. We'd lose these two birch trees, but again that's not a big deal because we can just replant those. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go take another pillar down for now I'll, like I said I'll have to think about that a little bit more and if I do that it'll some, it'll, that's definitely going to be an off camera thing it would certainly make the place a lot safer <laughs> that's for sure I mean after seeing how much damage those tar things do to the wall of course the tar things that, the moat's not going to stop them but it'll stop everything else Is there just one guy up there? Is there anything in that Stonehenge place besides the bat? Oh, I guess there's a, a treasure chest.
Let's go see what's in this treasure chest. I could break down the whole Stonehenge place for a bunch of stone. I don't think I'll do that, though, because this place is cool looking. All right. Not particularly wonderful treasure, but it is treasure. Let's go after... The, oh, you know what, though? Shit. If we go after this pillar, I'm going to have to pull the card uphill. That'll be fun. Now, I guess if we stay along down below... Shouldn't have to do too much uphill with it. Here, let's go around over here. Do a little bit of uphill going that way, but nothing too terrible. I wonder if I could do the same thing with those boulders, too. Do the vein mine on them. Probably could. Maybe. One way to find out, right? It does work. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, jeez Louise. That's a lot of stone. I wonder if that's more stone than the pillar. Yeah, probably not. All right, guys. Well, um... I'm going to haul all of this stone back to the base. And I might come back and do this one too. Just, you know, just to get a couple piles. Um, or we could try and do them both. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull the cart with that much weight, but we could try it. And if it's too much, we, uh, you know, offload some of it. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to tame a, a lox. Then I can get the lox to haul all this shit. That's what we need to do. All right. Uh, next episode, that's the plan. We're going to tame ourselves a lox. have no idea how to do it, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> I think you feed them cloudberries or something. I asked uh, John, our server owner, once about it, and he told me, but I can't remember what he said, so I'll just look it up. That was a little while ago. I mean, I'm assuming they can haul more than I can in a cart. Another thing that's on the to-do list still is to go explore, you know, one or three of those mountain caves. Uh, a, to do it and, ha and enjoy it, and B, to get crystal. That's we're gonna. I'm planning on using crystal in this build. I think if I'm close enough, I can just pull directly from the cart. Okay. That gives us our stone room. Um. Oh, we gotta. We gotta finish out the wood wood side too, because we're gonna do a, the comparison here. That's what we're about. Oh no! Don't do that. What the hell, man! Don't be doing that shit. Stick all of that in there for now. So let's finish uh, this this build. Uh, or this room. There we go. Okay. Now, trimming the wood out in stone, um, what we would do is use pillars and put them, hmm, that doesn't really want to clip in there, does it? So we'd be looking at something like this. 
Okay. Um, that's kind of what I had in mind. Is that going to collapse? Alright, do snap top. Yeah, that's that's more what I had in mind. However, this gap right here looks terrible. Oh, that just snapped right there. Okay, good. Okay. That doesn't look terrible. So we put that up there too. Ooh, that doesn't have much support. Like that, and then like that. And like that. So we'd be doing something like that. Um, Darkwood Arch. Yeah, I can do that. Alright, and then what we'll do is we'll have a... We'll do this. We can't do this with the stone. So, um, I, I apologize for the darkness, but... It's just what is what it is. Uh, and I don't have time in real life to wait until morning to finish this recording. So sorry about that. But anyway, um, you get the basic flavor, right? So what do you guys think? Should I build a stone house, in other words, stone walls, with dark wood trim? Um... Yeah, we'd probably go dark wood trim. Uh, I'm going to do it. I'm planning on doing a, a dark, dark wood shingle roof regardless of what we do. I wonder how strong that gate is. Okay, so... Yeah, the options are stone with dark wood trim or wood with stone trim. If we do wood with stone trim, we won't be able to run beams, you know... A, along the top like we can do over here because there's no option for that for stone all right guys so let me know what you think um do you uh do you want me to do stone walls with dark wood trim or wood walls with stone trim let me know in the comments um and depending upon what you guys tell me if you you know the feedback that i get is, and I'll, I'll think about it myself some more too because ultimately, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm going to go with what I, I think's best. But you you can certainly influence that if you uh, want to comment on it. And uh, then we'll go from there. So this little area that I'm standing in here is going to be uh, for our outdoor crafting stuff. So, you know, we're talking like smelters and uh, the blast forge and stuff like that. So I guess the one thing I want to do before I get, uh, you know, any further into this build at least for the front of the house is determine if we're going to have enough space to put all that stuff out here um so we'll plan on doing that in the next episode and um also plan on uh, taming the locks in the next episode too okay so that is it for this episode thanks everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.